Hello and welcome to the Full Tilt Poker.net Million Dollar Cash Game, where in the heart of London and some of the best and biggest names in poker have come together to put their money where their mouth is. I'm David Tuckman alongside Robert Williamson III. Raised to 2,800. Molly with the suited jack. And also in position on everybody, now that Alan Cunningham folded his button. Yeah, his normal big raise. Over to the big blind. Oh. <laughs> Well, you might not want to look at this one too hard. I think we'll see a slow play of this. Cool. How much do you play? Two. That's exactly what you do see. Patrick Antonius slow plays it. Let's see what the flop brings. Antonius with the bullets. Flop is two, five, four. No. Nope. And Muley catches a piece of this flop, which could, could cost him some money. Yeah, Muley with second pair. He's also got back to our clubs. Patrick Antonius has the ace of diamonds. A couple of diamonds out there. Bet 5,000. And Antonius bets 5,000. I don't mind that lead at all. Give Muli a chance to raise him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Muli's not going to go anywhere. No, I think we're going to see at least a call from Muli. You like the lead into Muli? I do because I'm giving him a chance to play a big pot. And even if he's got the best hand, I've got a straight draw. I've got a, I've got top pair. Speaking oh. of uh, straight draw, well, of course, that's going to... Yeah, it's not Actually, a really good, good card hurt. for Antonius, is it? Because that's going to give him the wheel. Now, he's definitely going to win this hand. Check. Check. But at the same time, you start looking at it, and Muli can't lose any more money on this pot, can he? Well, Antonius did what he's supposed to do. He checks. Now it's up to Muli. Muli could try to represent the ace here. And Muli still could win half this pot if a six or an ace comes on the river. But that's all he can ever get of this. Bet 13,000. And 13,000 bet by Muli. You know, the only thing is, I don't think that Patrick Antonius can raise. I think he can just flat call because if he raises and gets called, what can he beat? I think he's forced to just flat call here. Pot is 29,500. Well, add 13,000 to that. It's now 42,500. And we're going to see a river. Six or an ace chops it up. Check. Oh, actually, that gives Muli two pair. Check. Check. Two pair. That's right. Well, he goes check, check. Actually, the two pair and the river actually forced Muli to slow down. He didn't need to it, bet. He had showdown value, it right? It probably cost Patrick Antonius a bluff by Muli on the river. Uh, it definitely... Gave, gave away the opportunity because now he can show down two pair. Patrick Antonius adds to his lead, now up over $234,000. And once again, Muli falls victim to Patrick Antonius. Buttons in front of the chip leader and the big winner, Patrick Antonius. Patrick Antonius, by the way, nearly $3 million in tournament winnings. But he's not really a tournament player, is he? That's what I was fixing to say. He is a cash game specialist. This game is right up his alley. You know, for somebody that doesn't play many tournaments, $3 million is a lot of tournament winnings. What is Patrick Antonius' best game? Pot Lemon Omaha. And I can tell you, cash-wise, he is definitely one of the top three in the world. I'll take his action anytime, as long as I got his side of it. Well, a raise from Mattisau. Cool. And a call from Muli. Heads up, Muli, Mattisau. Say that quick 12 times, see what happens. Five, five, three. I don't want to say it quick twice. <laughs> Eight, five, three, a couple of clubs out there. Mike Mattisau has flopped a flush draw. He also has overcards to the board. Muli with the best of it right now. Hard for him to know that, though. But who cares? He's going to bet it anyway. 9000 And he bets 9000 into a $5,100 pot. How does Mattisau play this pen? Well, it's a tough spot for Mike. I, I know this much. I would flat call. I don't think I'd re-raise Muley. Cool. And he does call. I like that so far. Turn is the king of diamonds. Now, I was going to say, on the flop, Matisau is actually a favorite to win the pot, although he was behind. Now, though, he is an underdog. He's about a two-to-one dog. 
This feels like the perfect chance for Mike Matasso to take the pot away from Muli, though. He's checked the turn, showing weakness. I might have to lead at this, knowing I at least should have some outs with the club draw. I mean, that's part of the reason why you call the flop, right? Well, it's, it's called a semi-bluff. Mike doesn't take advantage of the semi-bluff. And the river? Ace. And the river's the ace oh. of clubs. Wow. That's... Well, you take the card. If there's a card you could pick out there, that would be it. Matasau hits the flush. Muli, top pair. Pot is 23,100. 25,000. And I like the overbet by Mike Matasau. And from what I've seen of Matasau, this is never a bluff, is it? Very rarely. Um, Mike does bluff and get out there on some limbs, but normally speaking, in this point of the hand here at the river, that's not his best game. I mean, in this game, especially the high stakes, no limit cash game, he's not bluffing here. Most of the time, no. I don't know if Morley knows that, though. That's the key. $25,000 bet. Pot is now 48100 Action is on Mooley. He has top pair. But three clubs out there. Start thinking, what can I beat? I mean, would Matisau bet a hand worse than I have? The overbet gives him a chance to get called here, and that's why I like that play by Mike Matisau. He feigns weakness. Well, the Frenchman paid Matisau off before. Let's see if the Frenchman can get away with this one. Yeah. Mike get away from this one, I should say. Mike could easily, easily have a bigger ace here. I think that's going through Muli's mind. I don't know if Matisau... I mean, would Matisau bet ace-queen here? Ace-jack here? And maybe, obviously, top two he's going to bet, but... I think he'd bet ace-queen here. A value bet. Yes, I do. Okay. I remember earlier on, when he had king-queen... And, and he, he didn't, didn't bet the king. So, I mean, I'm just wondering how thin, but how was, thinly he'll value bet. That was second pair, though. Top pair, I think Mike would bet. Pass. And ah. Mooley smelt it, sniffed it right out. Nice lay down by Mooley. Well played by Mike Matisseau as well. Mike. My most memorable moment definitely was winning the uh, 2002 Omaha Eight Bear Championship uh, against Daniel. I was really going through some mental problems, and I was down five to one in chips, and... He was talking a lot of trash, and I came back and played amazing and came back and won. I've had a lot of low moments, you know, in, in poker. You know, I, I've had a really the 2005 main event, you know, the, where I just was almost a shoe in to win that tournament. L losing the 2001 final table at the World Series Poker, I mean, I, I knew Carlos was bluffing the big hand he put on me, and I, I didn't follow through. But those are, those are part of poker, and I've never had the, a bigger feel of... Uh, emotion that when I won that, that Omaha tournament. So uh, that's still my highest, my highlight of my, my poker life. Tom Dwan cool. is back. Tom Dwan, by the way, our big loser today. Taking a little bit of a break, but uh, he knows how to play this one. He's going to raise it up. He looks a lot fresher now. Dwan's raised it up with a Jack-9 offsuit. We saw Mooley's King Jack. This is Patrick Antonius' hand. And here's the flop. Flop comes Queen, Four, King. Well, King, Queen, Four. A little bit something there for everybody. Tom Dwan... The pre-flop raiser has got a gut shot. Mooley with top pair. Antonius with bottom pair. And Antonius is going to bet. Bet 4,500. Well, he's in position. <coughs> Not a bad bet a majority of the time. Yeah. And part of the reason why you call in position is so you can take it away when your opponents miss, right? That's exactly right. Patrick Antonius has been a master at that tonight. He's really played position well. Only bets 4,500. Okay. 
And Mooley has decided to call this. And Tom Durjuan taking his time deciding whether to call, raise, or fold. I think this has got to be a folding hand. Or After watching Tom <laughs> Dwan in season three of the Million Dollar Cash Game and most of season four, I've stopped trying to guess what he'll do. And if he smells weakness, sometimes Raise. he does the uncharacteristic thing, and that's racing right here. Oh, that's wow. exactly what he does. 18,800 total. I'm sure playing fearless poker. Mooley has underrepresented his hand here. Normally he plays top pair a lot stronger. I don't know if he's going anywhere. Duan has raised this up to $18,800. How much? $14,000. Tom Duan wasting no time getting back in the action. Sure isn't. Putting yep. Mooley to a tough decision. And Mooley's out of position here as well. I mean, Mooley with top pair, but, I mean, top pair in a no-limit game. You know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if Mooley played flat calls. I wouldn't have been surprised if Mooley re-raised right there. Both players started with virtually the same amount of chips. Mooley started with 155,000 chips. Well, dollars, I should say. Tom Dwan with $161,000. Tom Dwan barely has him covered. Six of diamonds. It's a pretty... Safe card for Mooley's hand, if he had the best hand to begin with. Yeah, fairly irrelevant. I mean, King Jack really just a bluff catcher, though. You can't really beat much. I mean, I guess you can beat Jack-10 if he's in there with a draw. I think Mooley actually thinks he has the best hand right now, and he's letting Tom Durr, Dwan, hang himself. <coughs> I only say that because Mooley's had a tendency to overbet pots and lead at him. He's definitely played this hand check. a little bit slower. Well, Duan is going to take the free card. It goes check, check on the turn. Oh! Wow, look at that. Nothing has gone Tom Duan's card. way. Nothing has gone Tom Duan's way. And just like that, look at his eyes have lit up. Check. He hits the straight. He does not have the nut straight. Ace Jack is the nuts right now. Well. But he's got the second nuts. I was going to say, he may not have the nut straight, but he's got the second nuts on the entire board. I think we'll see about a twenty-five or thirty thousand dollar bet, just because he wants to get paid off. Well, we'll see. Mooley has checked. Action on Tom Dwan. I like Tom Dwan taking his time here, making it look like he might be considering a bluff. Tom Dwan with the king high straight. He makes the move and he gets lucky on the river. Mooley with top pair. <coughs> Pot just under $50,000. Maybe a, a big bet by Tom Dwan would look suspicious here. Maybe that's what he's considering, whether he should make a really like an over bet. A la Mooley style. All in. All in. Tom Dwan wow. is all in. Well, you said an overbet, and here it is. It's an overbet. It's a huge overbet. Tom Dwan is all in. He started this hand with more chips than Mooley. It would be for all of Mooley's chips. Mooley, by the way, started with 155,000. If Mooley calls, it's a 310,000 chip pot. Well, $310,000 pot, I should say. Unbelievable turn of events. All your chips, Mooley. I call. Cool. Oh, he calls! Mooley calls! It's unbelievable! I have two per two. Unbelievable. The overbet by Tom Dwan confused the Frenchman. And Mooley going to pay off the tune of 134000 He is felted. And remember, just a little while ago, Mooley won that monster pot off Antonius. He was up to 288000 He had nearly $300,000 in front of him. Now, he's got nothing. Nothing but green felt in front of him.
Well, the roller coaster leaderboard continues. Patrick Antonius on top of it. He's up 227,000. Mooley, by the way, who was our leader before, he was up $200,000, is now down 100,000. But our big loser, Alan Cunningham, down $193,000. And the coffee. Yeah, I'm going to have all of it. Pass. Felbin not going to play. Mooley has rebought for another hundred thousand dollars. He's gonna raise this up. Oh, he's raising it up even more now. He raises it up to thirty-four hundred. Tom Zwan with the Ace King, and he is he is re-raising here. He wants to play big pot poker. I think he's also isolating the possibly tilting Frenchman. Twelve thousand. I thought it was the Scottish that were tilting. Cool. And there's the call. And the flop comes out some sort of ace jack blank. We could see fireworks. We here's the flop. We might see fireworks flop anyway. 10-7 deuce. Oh, ten, seven seven. deuce. Not much there for either player. Mooley Check. with a gut shot straight draw. Tom Dwan still the best of it with ace king. About a 3-2 to two favorite to win this one. Check. He's going to check it. I don't blame him. He knows Mooley's capable of deuce. making a play at this pot. Well, if you, the deuce of hearts on the turn doesn't look to change anything. Well, now if he checks, it's different. Mooley now only a 23% chance of winning this pot, unless he can get Duan to fold. 21. He bets 21,000. $21, It'll be interesting to see if... Tom Dwan folds, calls, or raises. I wouldn't be surprised if he folded or raised. I'd be surprised if he just flat called. I've got to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if anything happened there. I think he's going to call. There it is. I was about to say. I didn't, <laughs> well, didn't want to say anything, but it wouldn't have surprised me to have a flat call there. I've seen Tom Dwan call down with king high, and it was right. I've seen him call down with ace high, and he'd be right. And I got to tell you, six and a blank on the river. Actually, puts three hearts on the board. Could slow the action down. It wouldn't shock me at all if Mooley bet big here and Duan called with his king. Let's see what happens. 67,000 in the pot. Action is on Mooley. I think that's about what Mooley's got left in front of him. Maybe a little less. Well, I see two black chips. There's a 50,000. I'm telling you, he's going to bet. I think Duan's calling. I think he's going to bet for sure. It's just a matter of whether Tom Durr, Duan's going to make this tough call. Bet 58,000. Especially with a heart on the river. Yes. Very tough call for Durr. Oh, and Duan <laughs> throws it away. I was sure Duan was going to call that. I was sure Duan was going to call. And Mooley with a lesson in power poker against Durr. I mean, this is not the easiest guy in the world to bluff, you know. No, not at all. Tom Duan, I mean, I, I tell you, I've seen him make huge, huge calls with less than that. It wouldn't have surprised me at all if Tom Duan made that call. I think if it came a more of a blank card, <laughs> you're right, he might have called. But six of hearts puts the straight out there and a flush. Tough call for anybody, much less Tom Duan. Hi, I'm Tom Duan. I'm 23 and I play poker. I grew up in Edison, New Jersey, and now I live in some combination of Boston, Vegas, San Diego, wherever the big poker games are, wherever some nice beaches or some fun times to be had. To be winning at high stakes poker, you need to be constantly adapting. So obviously a year later from any given game, if you're a winning high stakes player, you should be playing better. You should be more experienced. I would say I'm playing a little better. I'm a little more experienced than last year, but the difference is marginal in my opinion. Hopefully the results will be better, but we'll see. Obviously in any one session, there's a lot of luck and hopefully it'll be on my side. Wow, this is poker. 
This is power poker. That's I mean, if sure. this doesn't get you excited, uh, check your pulse. Tom Dwan has decided to make the big blind, which is the straddle as we know it, a regular part of this game. He's straddling again. Well, Tom Dwan down almost $200,000. <coughs> He's going to do everything he possibly can to try to get his money back and then some. I think if he was up 200000 he'd be straddling right here, to be honest with you. Well, he's in a great spot. He's got position on Mully. I think he likes that spot in this game. And Mike Matisseau playing right behind him pretty tight. I don't like this stuff. Unfortunately, I have 3,800 total. I've never done it. Three thousand eight hundred dollar raise from Patrick Antonius. A call from Tom Dwan. And uh, both this is a very interesting flop. Tom Dwan with top pair Jack Kicker. Patrick Antonius with second pair backdoor club draw. It goes check check. Wow. Ace of diamonds on the turn. Now Patrick Antonius cannot win this pot. But that second ace on the board might make him think his pair of kings is good. I agree with that. No, it doesn't even give it a value bet. I'm surprised. Dirt's just about guaranteed to bet here. He's got to bet about six, six or seven thousand. Check. And Tony is trying to decide whether to value bet this. Bet four thousand five hundred. Tom Duan checked all three streets. And yes, the cards are correct. The flop and the board is correct. And when Tom Duan check raises this, can Antonius get away from it? Absolutely. If that, he makes it a real small raise, he might get paid off. But that's the only way. I don't think Antonius can pay this off. I just want to remind our viewers that deuce on the river is irrelevant. Antonius with aces and kings and an eight kicker. Tom Dwan with trip aces, king jack. I think he's trying to decide how much to re-raise, how much he can get paid off for. I think the most he could get paid off was maybe a $10,000 raise. raise. Okay, you got 26,300 more. And he raises it 26,300 more. Another overraise. That, that must be the new fad in this game. It's an additional 26,300 for Antonius to call. The pot is 44,300. And the big key to this hand is Tom Dwan has feigned weakness the entire hand. Flat called, check called, checked, and now check raised the river. A very inconsistent story. It might <laughs> be hard for Antonius to get away from this hand. Well, these guys have some history. I mean, Tom Dwan and Patrick Antonius, they have played for countless hours online and live. I mean, you start talking about Tom Dwan, such a creative player, so unconventional. In every sense of the word. I mean, this could be a bluff. This could be trip aces. This could be a full house. Yeah, I got a feeling he's going to get paid off here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not convinced. Patrick Antonius, he seems to just sniff these ones out. I think Tom Dwan played this so confusing. I think he's going to get paid off. Well, anyway, he cut it 26300 If he doesn't get paid off, I'll tell you right now, it's because of the Jack-9 where he moved all in with Mooley. That only thing that might be going through Patrick Antonius' mind with the overraise. Neither one of these players want to lose a pot to the other one. Have you noticed that? They're especially competitive when in, they're against each other. Patrick Antonius and Tom Durr Duan. <laughs> one thing I've noticed about Patrick Antonius, though, it, it seems like, I mean, he's such a great poker player. And I, I've gained more and more respect from him as I watch these million-dollar cash games. He's been in it for the last couple of seasons, and his game is so good. It's, he seems to leave his ego at the door. Well, I think he's right now he's thinking, I can only beat a bluff. Did Tom Dwan put this bet out there on a spade draw that got busted, a busted flush draw? I think that's the only hand he thinks he can really beat. 
Oh, Patrick Antonius calls. It's a crying call. He hates it. I was pretty sure he was going to pay him off. It felt like it. You called it. You called it. And Tom Dwan, two big payoffs in a row. And Tom Dwan starting to get healthy. Welcome back. The guys have had a quick break. We're ready to go again, so we'll have you straight up to the guys in the commentary box. And this, this table has gotten somewhat crazy. I mean, we've got Tom Dwan and Mooley playing quite crazy. Patrick Antoni is between them. And then, of course, we've got Andrew, uh, Andrew Feldman and Mike Matisau, the, bit, the mouth, playing it somewhat more conservatively. Yeah, I think they're both waiting for a real hand to get involved. Race, 2,100. Are they going to get paid off of the real hand? You wouldn't think so, but Mike Matisseau did a while ago. Cool. Cool. Here's the flop. Seven, seven, four. seven, four. Couple of hearts out there. Tom Dwan, open ended. The best of it right now is queen high, Check. but if Tom Dwan puts some heat on that board, he could take it down. They've checked to the position player, Patrick Antonius, who just about guaranteed to lead at this. Bet 6,000. Leads yeah. almost a pot size bet. Plus. Yeah, Antonius bets 6,000. Mooley going to get out of the way. And Tom Dwan, $6,000 to him. Going to check call. Now, eight on the turn might be an interesting card, especially if it's not of the heart variety. Pot now eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Well, three gets the job done. Tom Dwan has hit his straight. Three, four, five, six, seven has the seven high straight. Patrick Antonius cannot win this pot unless he gets Tom Dwan the fold. Patrick Antonius has been playing this pretty close to the vest. He swung at it once. I have a feeling he is going to go ahead and just let this one slide. Wait for a free card on the river. Well, then again, what do I know? He's reaching for chips. Oh, yeah, he's got a black chip in his hand. That's a $25,000 chip, just to refresh your memory. The black chips are $25,000, the red ones are $1,000. The blues are $500, and the purples are $100. Maybe that last hand is weighing a little bit on Antonius, and he wants to get some of that money back. $12,000. 12, 12000 a bit. 12,000 bet by Patrick Antonius. Yeah, he bets two-thirds the pot here, 12,000. Well, no question. I, I, I can't see Tom Dwan calling here. Now with a flush draw on the board, I would be surprised if he did just call. I think he's going to raise in case in case he gets lucky and Patrick Antonius cool. has a seven. No, he doesn't listen to me. Wow. The only thing I can tell you about Tom Dwan, think of whatever you think he might do, and then just go the complete opposite, because that's Tom Dwan. So far, that's been pretty accurate. I'll well, it's one of the reasons it. why he's really tough to play against. Now, this oh. could be a problem for, for Durr. Uh, this, that's the problem with not raising on the turn. Now the double pair on the board. Check. Patrick Antonio swings one more time, especially if he swings a bigger bet. 30000 would be exactly what I would bet. Three-fourths of the pot. Looks like you want a collar, but not over betting it. I'm telling you right now, there's no way in a million years to want his fold in this hand. You say that. Patrick Antonius has represented a seven the entire way. No chance. And it goes oh. check, check. And, and you know what? Antonius knows it as well. No matter what Antonius bets there, Tom Dwan is calling. No chance. I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, we'll never know. We'll never know is a fact. Tom Dwan, though. One thing I do know, Tom Dwan is on a rush right now. He's won a couple of big pots, and he's now up to about $350,000 in front of him. Still down a significant lot, but before he was down about $350,000, he has made back $200,000. A lot of work to do if he wants to break even. Nice recovery. Last time we spoke to Mike, you were suffering from a lack of cards. Have things changed at all for you? Well, I still suck at suffering from a lack of cards. I just happen to pick up one hand. And know them and hold them, that's all it takes is one hand. 
you mentioned how you know, pleased you were with the control that you've displayed at the table. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how, how chuffed are you with the way it's been going? You know, it, it, it's, it's it, when, I'm, when I'm playing great, which I think I play great this whole day, I, I keep my patience. I don't let, I don't let like, when they start gambling, straddling, and raising, I, I don't let it get to them to try and outplay them. Even when I went three and a half hours without a playable hand, you know, I never just folded and folded and folded. And then when you look up and you say, I played one hand in three hours and, I'm, and I've, I've won 100,000. <laughs> and you feel like you've been rewarded. You feel pretty good about it. It's the Full Tilt Poker.net million dollar cash game. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. The big blinds and the blinds have moved up here. 500, 1,000 now. An ante of 200. The price of poker has gone up. As if they weren't playing high enough already. Well, I don't think they were playing high enough. Yes. E evidently not. I think if you're Patrick Antonis and you're Tom Dwan, you love it. <laughs> How is this going to affect the table? Mike Matisau, we've lost. Raised to 4000 He's up about $100,000. Cool. King-Queen for Muli. Tom Dwan with cool. Queen-Deuce of Hearts. He's going to call this. Patrick Antonius in there with a the King-Six. I think Tom Dwan's going to play a wide Fox. variety of hands the higher Deuce we play. Ten. ten. Check. Well, he's outflopped everybody. He's got two pair. Check. Tens and deuces. Seldom loses. Pot is uh, $12,800. Queen. He's an overwhelming favorite to win this hand. Well, well not, anymore. not anymore. And it's interesting. Check. He's actually made three pair, but three pair don't play. It's your best five-card hand. And Mooley has now taken the lead. He has queens and tens with a king kicker. Tom Dwan with queens and tens and a two kicker. Patrick Antonius is uh, pretty much completely out of this hand. Mooley bet $7,000. It's funny. He keeps underbetting certain pots now that he used to overbet every pot. Might be confusing to some of the players out there. Cool. Well, you get a call Pass. from Tom Dwan. Yeah, it's tough pot to lay now. down top pair for sure. Tom Dwan now with 26, the pot now, $26,800. He needs a deuce on the river or a queen. Yeah, and this is going to be chopped up here. Both players, the full house. Queen's full of tens. Wouldn't be surprised at all, though, if check. Durr checks to him. And he does. Well, he's gonna, we're going to see a check raise here. I mean, this is pretty obvious where it's going. Now, at the table, it's going to seem quite exciting. For everybody <laughs> at home and for point. us, we know what's going to happen here. There's going to be a bet. There's going to be a check race. There's going to be an all-in. All the money's going to go in there. They're going to chop it up. It's going to be like kissing your sister. I told you about that. I'm from Texas, not Arkansas. Here you go. Pot is $51,800. And yes. there's the raise. It's 28000 more. And it's 28000 more back to Mooley. Looking for a call. What bet can... Mooley make, or what race can he make, and get Dwan to call with a less hand? That's well, what I don't Mooley's think. Well, about. I gotta be honest with you. At this point, if I'm Mooley, I do not re-raise because I go. I actually don't have the nuts. My opponent could have pocket tens. Cool. And he's gonna call. They're gonna chop it up. Well, it was exciting to play a two hundred and eighty thousand dollar pot. Two seventy nine. This is the million dollar cash game. And this is truly one of the biggest games in televised history. The blinds are 500, 1,000, a running ante of $200. We're playing four handed right now. Mooley with the ace, king of spades. And he raises it up to 4,000. Tom Dwan with ace, king. And he looks like he's going to re raise this. Can't say that I blame him. And he I mean, does re-raise it. What's interesting is they may have the same 14, hand, but this one total. might not go down that way. Extra 10,500 more. <laughs> and it's 10,500 more back to Moley. I think we're going to see a re-raise by Moley here. Raise. 50,000 more. Re-raise. Call. Cool. And it's all in. Ace-King against Ace-King. Tom well, Dwan looking for hearts or clubs. Mooley looking for the spades. 
and actually Mooley a slight favorite with two of the same suit. I thought there was a chance that was what was happening. Well, when you said Ace Queen, I, I know you never have any hand other than Ace King or Ace Queen. Yeah, there is some suspense here. We can see some suits here. Pot is two hundred eighty thousand dollars. This and one's gonna be chopped. Well, Mooley's still drawing. Uh, oh, pardon me, spade, spade. Yeah, well, not anymore. Corrected. Three of clubs on the turn. And a four of hearts, irrelevant four of hearts on the river, and they're going to chop it up once again. Take your money back. Two times in $280,000 pots back to back, and they split it. You don't see that every day. Okay. Four players, million dollar cash game. Putting in front of Patrick Antonius. Line still 500 at 1,000 with a $200 running ante. And uh, action is on nice. Tom Dwan. He's not going to play. Patrick Antonius on the button. Queen 9, offsuit. Raised to 4,000. Well, he's in a great spot. He can raise this. He knows that Feldman's not going to call or re raise. Pass. With very many hands, and he knows that Mooley is, cool. but he's in position against the player who he thinks he's better than. It's definitely a great spot for Patrick Antonius to raise. Absolutely agreed. Jack well, both players six, miss. Eight. Jack eight six. Both players have the same hand. Check. The wild card factor here, though, is Mooley's capable of check raising with air, but I still think we're going to see a lead by Patrick Antonius the majority of the time. Bet. 7,000. Yeah, oh, both players have the gut shot. 10 would give each of them a straight. Mooley actually uh, kind of free rolling here. You can catch diamonds as well. Cool. I said if I could play poker from the commentary booth, I'd never <laughs> lose. <laughs> we call that uh, Monday morning quarterback. King. Well, King of Spades doesn't change much. You get check. another overcard. Now they don't have an overcard to the board. Good so, point. A little scary. Mooley checks. Antonius. Thinking about what to do. Pot is 23300 The amazing thing is you look at this pot size. The pot is $23,000. And neither player has a pair. Well, I think part of the deal is here. Patrick Antonius is going to bet. 15. Bet 15000 He had to bet because if he doesn't, he checks... Mooley bets the river, takes the pot down. He was forced to bet in that spot, I believe. Well, Patrick Antonius bets 15,000. And the power position comes through once again. Well, it says a lot when two players <laughs> have the same exact hand, yet one of them can win the pot. Patrick Antonius showing us why he's one of the best in the game. I'm Patrick Antonius. In front of Feldman, big blind, Tom Dwan, Patrick Antonius first to act. And it might seem weird playing four-handed, but to me, this is what, what poker is all about. It's, it's less about the hands, it's more about playing your opponent. Position and opponents, that's what it's all about right now. Pass. Pass. And if you look, a lot of the online games now, six max, no limit games. you got to love this, four-handed. And Deep four stacked. And four of the best in the world. Right here in this one table. Would you say four of the best in the world? Really? I'd say at least two of the best in the world. Okay, there you go. Three. Five, five, three. Couple of hearts out there. Check. Two people flopping. Oh, actually. Durr flopping a gut shot. 
Patrick Antonius with over cards to the board. Yeah, I think two of the Six best in the five. world in this pot. Patrick Antonius is going to bet it. $6,000 bet from Antonius. Pot is 15300 We could see a wide range of things here. We could see a call. We could see a raise. We could see a fold. I don't think the fold is what we're going to see, though. Not with a gut shot. <laughs> cool. He's going to call. Pot is now $21,300. <laughs> Ten of clubs on the turn. A couple of heart, hearts out there. A couple of clubs out there. Duan is going to check it. Does Patrick Antonius want to fire one more time? Yeah. Nope. He's going to see a free card. Let's see the river. Four. The river's the four. <laughs> Tom Duan did not hit his uh, his gut shot straight draw, okay. but he did hit a pair of fours. Okay. And he's got the best hand with fives and fours, and he's going to show it. $21,000. Heads over to Durr. Pass. Mulligan get out of the way. Action on Tom Dwan on the button. No one thing I have noticed. He's going to pass. Patrick Antonius in the small blind. Cool. And he's going to call this with the ace 10 offsuit. Playing a little deceptively. Well, Jack four suited. Well, Andrew Feldman going to see if he can take this one away. 3,500 more. You and I both know that's not going to work. Cool. Patrick Antonius calls. The glasses go on, and we'll see a flop. Flop is king, nine, queen. Interesting flop. It really is. Patrick Antonius has a gut shot to Broadway. He also has the ace of clubs in his hand. Feldman, though, has the gut shot straight draw as well as the flush draw. It's nearly a coin flip if it goes to showdown. Good bet. 6,500. And he bets about 65% of the pot. Strong bet. That's I'll Feldman. Be su surprised if we don't see at least a call here by Antonius. Call. And he is going to call. Pot now $22,800. And here's a turn. Six. Six of diamonds. And that's a complete blank. Check. Check. Patrick Antonio is still in the lead with ace high. We might see a, Feld a Feldman check this time around. I don't know that he wants to get this pot too big. If he <laughs> bets it, he might take it, though. If only he knew what Antonius had. 18. Well, he's going to fire one more time. 18,000. And you know what? Pass. His image is what won him the pot there. I agree with that wholeheartedly. It's a nice bet by it's a nice bet by Andrew Feldman. Eighteen thousand dollar bet on the turn, and he is going to win that pot. Andrew right. Feldman, by the way, pretty much even on the day. And these are just some of the players that played today in the million dollar cash game during season four. Patrick Antonius is on top of the leaderboard. He's up one hundred and fifty thousand. Mike Matisau, who has left the game was up 104,000. And here are the bevy of losers in the game. Andrew Feldman, virtually even, down a little bit. Alan Cunningham down 193,000. Tom Duan down 133,000. But on the comeback, because he was down 350 just a little while ago.